the northern slopes of Auckland's eastern suburbs. A home along this ridge ensures a place at one of the most prestigious schools in the country. There are so many myths about the place and some we, we probably want to maintain, others that we would like to scotch. Um, but there is a mystique. I mean, uh, Auckland Grammar is Auckland Grammar and it's a, a school not just well known in, in New Zealand but internationally. Throughout history, Auckland Grammar has stuck firmly to tradition and routine. Every day, the 2,500 boys cram into the school hall for morning assembly before heading to class at 9 o'clock. I can still recite the school prayer. Almighty God. Heavenly Father, who serious sort of things which house made, looked down upon the school. And An average four-bedroom home in this area now sells for three quarters of a million dollars. Grammar boasts the most impressive academic record of any state secondary school, and has throughout its 134 years. My name is Robson, and they do need to get used to sitting exams. Um, you know, you sit, um, entry examinations basically, and then you get you get streamed. It's the end of a long day and the third formers are finishing off a second exam. There is a grammar boy, uh, there, there is such a person and, and there is, uh, I think, characteristics. Things like you know, integrity and um, ability, a, a confidence born of, of knowing that you've been to the top school in the country. Doing your best, always doing your best, I think is typical of a grammar boy. You know, you don't get many sloths who come out of here. I definitely view myself as a grammar boy. Yes, I am a grammar boy. Grammar boy. <laughs> I am a grammar boy. 3 up. It's a very competitive school and we, we make no bones about that. And boys who are in 3G and think they probably should be in 3C or 3D, they're going to work extra hard to get up there. Boys learn differently um, to girls as well. And certainly uh, competition is a key element in the way that boys learn. Um, so that, that's important to us. I don't think we drive them too hard. I think the boys, in fact, in lots of ways here set the standard. They want to be taught. A full day of lessons starts immediately after the boys are placed in classes. Three hours. Is On that side of the corridor, please. The top seven classes, regarded as the academic classes, will take six subjects, including Latin, long since dropped by most schools. The school argues Latin enhances a boy's command of English and English grammar, boosting their written skills in exams. So you'll see your first Latin words. It's per angusta ad augusta. With boys' needs in mind, the school timetable is structured so every boy sees every subject master every school day. That the boys here are taught to think for themselves. Sport is, uh, is absolutely essential. In any, in any boys' school, you've got to have good sport. <laughs> we put out over 260 sports teams every year, and, uh, and of all those teams, probably the majority are just social teams. First tackles make them hard. Grammar has produced 49 All Blacks. It's winning is the only objective. Today, grammar pride is boldly on display. Each year, hundreds of loyal old boys return to school just for this match. You don't drink, you don't even the first 15 lose on Saturday, the Monday assembly is a little bit uh, restrained. That's how important it is. And in the first time in a great season, the morale within the school is, is that much higher. Now, that might seem crazy, but that's the way it is. We're elitist in that we expect everybody to do their be very best. That's the only way that we're elitist in no other way. The school um, has to change. Society is evolving and, and I think uh, all good schools evolve as well. But we're not prepared to compromise you know, our, our basic beliefs and our basic philosophy. So while we may change, uh, the basic understandings about what grammar is about must never change. And we are an academic school and we do expect students to do their very best in whatever they, they're doing. Um, those sorts of tenets are absolutely critical to the success of the school, so that won't change. The highest academic award at secondary school is a scholarship. Today, the scholars return to be honoured at morning assembly.
Their names will now join the hundreds on the honours boards. The school has always set great store by these examinations. 18% of students throughout New Zealand get an A bursary. The grammar pass rate last year was 67%, almost four times the national average. I honestly and sincerely believe, and I judged on my experience at the teaching at other schools, that the vast majority of boys who come here will do better here than they would do anywhere else.